Let's begin. So last year, I released one record every week on a Friday for a whole entire year. And in conjunction with that, a vlog came out with it every Saturday, once a week, every year, the whole entire year. So as the song gets released the next day, the vlog of me making the song gets released. So I had a content to go with every record for a whole entire year. Now to begin this conversation, I want to give you a little bit of reasoning of why. So in 2020, everything shut down. And the first thing I did was buy a camera. I bought the Sony a6400. It was about $1,000. The kit was about $1,000. I just bought the basic kit with the kit lens and the package came with the carrying case, an extra mem a memory card, an extra battery with the charger and some other stuff, some ND filters and some other stuff that I did, did not need, but it was cheaper to get the kit versus just the camera by itself. But I didn't have a lens. I didn't have anything. I just had my cell phone. So I knew I wanted to upgrade to better quality. So that was the first thing I did. The reason why I did this, I knew that for a fact that because of the shutdown, I wasn't gonna be able to shoot any music videos. It was already hard enough to get shows and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to get shows, find open mics to keep performing at and network. So I knew those opportunities are completely gone because we did not know at the time how long the lockdown was going to be and hmm, instead of sitting on my hands and waiting to see what happened I got straight to work I came up with the strategy to drop a record a week and just try it out just release as much music as possible to keep my name alive so this was a survival tactic in, in, in a way this whole entire process took me about three and a half months to do. Three months with the, you know, a few extra days here and there to finish everything. So I recorded almost 60 records. I had plans for more. I was going to do some remixes, but that never, it never happened because I put myself on a timeline and I stuck to my deadline. So it is, it, and I just live with the results. It is what it is. Now I started this, it took me a while to get the money up to save for the camera. Luckily, I did not lose my job. I just went to work and just worked even more overtime. So I did 10 to 12 hours every day for the whole entire year of 2020 and just saved the money up, got a camera and just started making music and went from there. So that was my whole budget. I produced every record, mixed every record, I did all the covers. The covers was mad easy, just mad easy. Like anybody can do this if you just give yourself a chance to try it. So within them 60 records, mix, mastered, did everything, start to finish. So as I'm making the records, I'm also vlogging my experience. So I'm showing myself making the beat, recording the hook, recording the verses, as well as giving a tutorial on the background of the song, and that was the vlog. So that was the whole setup. And I did this towards the end of 2020. That way I had an, enough time to release, and in 2021, I didn't have to actually continue recording and making vlogs and releasing. I was just focused purely on marketing and releasing the content. And as I'm doing this, as the songs are released, I built the playlist. So here I have the playlist here. I'm going to link, link it in the description. I'm going to link it in the comment section so that you know I'm not lying and that I actually did get this done. There's a few records that are not on here. On here. It's about 10, rec 10, 11 records that are actually not on this list because I packaged that as an album with an artist named Sour Lyrics. Shout out to Sour Lyrics. He, he definitely bailed me out towards the end because this whole process took a lot of emotion. It took a lot of physicality of it because I'm working 12 hours, then I'm going home and I'm recording a record every night for about two months straight. And I was dead tired towards the end. I want to say after I did about 
40 records i was i was over this i was so over this but me being me and me wanting to be disciplined and fix my consistency i just i got the job done wasn't the best way to do it i should have allowed myself more time but we got it done in time so first piece of advice for anybody who was trying to do this take a year if you're going to do this take a year from releasing music build the records make sure all the records are mixed mastered got your cover art and make sure that every record has a piece of content no matter what if it's just the background or uh the background scene of you making it or you actually recorded a record something in that nature you need content in order for this strategy to work you cannot just drop a record every week for a whole entire year and just hope for the best hoping for the best was absolutely not an option we're not believing in no type of fairy tales in here we're taking destiny into our own hands and you need to have that type of attitude in order to get this done and stay motivated because you know there's an end goal win lose or draw no matter what the results were i was not at all whatsoever relying on one of these records to go viral none of them did a few of them are working but none of them went viral but that was never the goal the goal was to build a catalog so that one day if one of these go viral there's a whole entire back catalog a whole entire backstory so i don't have to explain anything and i don't have to rush to make content to keep my momentum going that momentum is going to take care of itself in the future and that's the beautiful part now onto the strategy of the content what i did was as i'm making the vlogs i'm doing it all live so from the beat making process to be recording each section of the song the vlog is broken up into sections to where i can i took every piece of every section of the vlog and i re and i post that every day for a whole entire year in 2021 on my instagram on my tumblr on a multiple platforms anywhere i could post twitter any platform I could post, I posted six days a week, literally six days a week. My Facebook business page, literally six days a week. And the vlogs was once a week on Saturday. So I did that to LinkedIn. It came out on my YouTube channel. It also came out on my Facebook. So if you go to my Instagram and you just scroll through, you're going to see each section of the vlog and as and it did this for a whole entire year so there's a lot of posting a lot of posting and it was pretty easy to keep up with the posting because i knew what song was coming the next week so i was able to prepare and i knew the song title i knew my captions a hey, this is the verse this is the second verse this is the beat making process this is the hook and i also made the cover with the hook playing as a piece of content as well so that just gave me an extra day so that's how i was able to do six days a week sometimes if i just wanted to talk about a record that's another piece of content that's seven days in a week which is really manageable because i already did all the work before this whole entire process started so i didn't have to go back and try to fix things and change things i it was go time so when you're making your content make sure that you're able to repurpose it and repurpose it on every platform possible you're going to have your main platform my main platform for the the release was instagram and youtube but i also had music on bitshoe music cast there was a whole bunch of sites here and there that i was able to post content on just make an account and post my content on that way i have diversified my the eyeballs that i can in the traffic that can i can bring in i wasn't praying on just one platform to work but i was making sure i never missed on instagram and i already had everything scheduled out for my facebook and my youtube channel that was very that was very very important that's something that you cannot miss if you miss a post it's not the end of the world but you want to make sure that you stick with it and stick with it so i have a i have all the vlogs in a playlist on my youtube channel i got two i got two playlists one of the singles and then one of the one of the playlists is with me collaborating with sour legs who who i did about 10 to 11 songs with and i did that as a project so for 
Every 10 songs, I switched up the style. That's how I was able to keep my momentum of recording and keep everything uh, switching up, help me keep going. Cause never, no, no records sounded like they're all totally different. I'm more of an experimental type of artist. So I'm already used to that, but I didn't do it in this structure before. This was the first time I did it. Every 10 songs, switch drum. So I did dance hall, reggae, Afro beats, hip hop, R&B, and boom, got it done. It wasn't easy, but we got it done. All the lyrics are typed up. I made a distro kit account. I used the middle tier, because the first tier, you're not able to schedule out your your records on what days you want it so i do not recommend you ever use the first tier always use the middle tier that way you're able to schedule out because you're going to need that pre-save link and i and for every record i made sure that the pre-save link was out about a month ahead that way i can as one record is going as one record is releasing i'm already shooting out the, the link for the next record a month ahead or a week ahead two weeks ahead that way people know there's more coming 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 this whole strategy is all about momentum now i do recommend that you take your time if you listen to some of my records you can tell that they were rushed and that the quality is not all the way there where it should be or where i was at in that stage of my music career of the caliber of music that i could make but this toughened me up and this made me really think about my mixing a lot. Mixing and mastering is very important. So if you have an engineer, that will build, that will help you out. That way you can keep the, keep the records pumping. But because I had to do everything myself, I suffered a little bit and I'm okay with the results. Speaking on results, before this ever started, I never took my YouTube seriously. Never took my Instagram. I never took social media ser seriously. I was never on social media. I'm not the social media type of person. Social media didn't exist when I was growing up. So it is what it is. So what this did was gain momentum and rebuild my name on YouTube and on Instagram. Gave me momentum. I started getting likes, shares, DMs. Not at first. It took a couple weeks. I was... I was, I was a little upset at first. I'm like, dang, two weeks, three weeks go by, nothing. And then probably like six, seven weeks in, that's when the likes and stuff start coming because of the consistency. Consistency is key to all of this. Without the consistency, this whole entire plan would have failed. A positive on this is that before I did this experiment, when you typed in my artist name, Stefan Allen Music, you could not find me whatsoever on google i mean whatsoever at all now that i have done this when you type in my name on google they got me as a as a pop artist at first they had me as a as a reggae artist which would have been a little bit more accurate because most of the music is dance hall reggae and afrobeat and hip-hop but pop pop works as well can't control that but now when you google me all my stuff pops up and the beauty of having my username the same on all of the platforms as I am Stefan Allen, my website, all of my social media handles are the same. When you type in my name, everything pops up. That's what makes this really work. So people aren't searching the internet, trying to figure out what's my Instagram, what's my Twitter, what's my Facebook, what's my YouTube, what's this, what's that, where's this, where's that? Somebody wants to look for me, they just type my artist in, name in one time everything pops up so that was the positive of this and that was really my main goal searchability catalog and searchability now the results of the records i didn't get any streams for a good i want to say three four months and then certain records caught on obviously because of the quality of the records the better records actually got streams the rest of them did not that's why i'm stressing that make sure that you just take a year off of music 
do a couple songs every week get them mixed and mastered have a plan and just have a plan that way you have the quality there because i the, the suffering of the quality is what really hurt this strategy for me and if i had to do this all over again i would take a full year and make sure i had a budget for the copyright and go from there and just take my time and everything would have worked a little bit better the records would have sounded a little bit more cleaner but as i said this was an experiment of just building the catalog and just going so for you my advice for you take your time if you're going to do this have a strategy, have a plan of what style of music you want to do. If you do all one genre, make sure there's different styles within the genre so that you don't get bored and your audiences don't get bored. Because on Spotify, there's a Spotify will pump your new record out to a certain amount of people when you release. That's why I did it on Fridays, because most people release music on Friday. So people are already expecting that and anticipating that. And I use that to my advantage. And just keep going. Don't give up if you don't get any type of results at first. When I started looking at my analytics on my YouTube channel and on my Spotify for Artists account, I was getting nothing at first. And then slowly but surely, everything started to move a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Just make sure when you start getting reactions on your social media, you respond. Respond to comments, respond to likes, respond to DMs, say thank you and have start having conversations with people and that will actually boost your engagement on these platforms you got to interact with social media for a reason you got to be social even for me i'm not that talkative of a person i'm more to myself most of the time but when you're doing music and you're trying to get out there you got to get out of that type of bubble and be more social and be a people's person and that's something i had to learn how to do and learn how to respond properly and with um, integrity and with politeness and you know just a little bit of courtesy don't have to flex and do all this extra stuff just have normal a normal conversation I didn't even bring up music on most of this the music is what actually just draw people in and then people started talking to me another positive result of this as I'm releasing I got found on Instagram from these songwriters in Germany and I actually collaborated with these songwriters in Germany and released the record which was not even on the plan of what I was doing, but because they liked what I was doing and they found me because I was so consistent with the content, I just kept popping up. Somehow on, on their feeds, that collaboration happened. So don't give up, stay consistent, and it can work out for you as well. I hope you learned something. If you have questions, please just don't be afraid to send me a message or text me and I'll get to you as soon as possible, or I might even make a video on explaining what you're asking to know from this experience. So once again, I'm going to drop the link to this Spotify playlist so that you can hear all the records and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's some good records in here. I hope you like it. And until next time, let's go.